this is Annette and today I want to show you how to assemble the corner tuck fold card and I'm also going to use the new dimensional decoration cut full and embossed die this is called the stippled bubble cut full and embossed die you can do so much with just this one cut full and embossed die so you're adding so much value to your craft products with this one cut full and embossed die you can foil and die cut with it you can ink and die cut with it and you can also only die cut with the cut full and embossed die so you can do so much with this cut full and embossed dies and i just love them so first of all i'm going to foil and die cut with the cut full and embossed die now you know your GoPress 4 machine is ready when it's having this um, green light. When you put your GoPress 4 machine on, it will have a red light. You just press this button and the red light will flicker until it's um, showing you the screen light and then you know that your GoPress 4 machine is ready. With the cut full and embossed dies, you will need the uh, middle conversion plate and you will heat that up with your GoPress 4 machine and my GoPress 4 machine is ready so you will be adding your cut full and embossed die onto the metal conversion plate I've already cut a piece of um, Kachu Creations heat activated foil this one is called the drift witted foil and I will add the cardstock so you will always add the foil with the shiny side down onto the cut full and embossed die and then the cardstock or pattern paper that you want to die cut and then for this I will be just adding shim and I will be closing the lid and I will just heat it up okay it's ready and now I'm just going to run it through my go power and emboss die cutting machine this new go power and emboss machine and now you can just peel it off and yeah you can see it just beautiful foiled onto the cardstock and you can use this again for something else okay so here you can see this was the first way to use the cut full and emboss die and that was to foil and die cut at the same time so just look how beautiful that came out now for the second way that i'm going to use the cut full and emboss die is to ink the cut full and emboss die with some brilliant galaxy gold ink and I'm going to use also cardstock and it will ink and die cut at the same time. So first of all, I'm just placing it, it onto my cutting plate, some scrap paper here and I put my cut full and emboss die onto the scrap paper and I'm just going to ink the cut full and emboss die. to remove this scrap paper and just put the cut full and emboss die onto the cutting plate and then I'm just adding my cardstock onto my cut full and emboss die just adding my B plate and then I'm just going to run it through my um, new go power and emboss machine And 
just like with the uh, foil and die cut I just need to put it through once through my go power and emboss machine and just look how beautiful it inked and die cut at the same time isn't this beautiful I'm just going to clean my cut full and emboss top and here you can see that I've used the cut full and emboss by in two ways first foiling and die cutting with the cut full and emboss die and also inking and die cut with the cut full and emboss die and I think it just came out beautiful now I'm going to show you how to assemble the corner tuck fold guard now you will find all the measurements on the Gachu Creations blog and also on my blog. I've already cut a piece of paper bag Ultimate Crafts cardstock. Um, this is four and a quarter by eight inch, and I'm going to score the eight inch um, side at five and a half. When I just left this new uh, mini scoreboard of Kacha Creations because you can slide the bone folder right from the top where you actually want to score so I'm just going to score it at five and a half and then I'm just going to fold it So easy to put the bone folder back. I've already cut a piece of the naughty and nice pattern paper. This is two and a quarter and four inch, and I'm just going to add it here onto the flap. And then I've already cut a piece of white cardstock, and this is five and a quarter and four inch. And I'll add some double sided tape here onto the back. I'm just going to add it here on the inside. And then I've already cut a square of the naughty and nice pattern paper. Um, first I cut it to two and two inches and then I've cut it with my trimmer diagonally and I'm just going to add this onto the white cardstock and I will be adding the glue onto the edges of the pattern paper. So you don't want any glue here because that's where the other part is just going to be tucked underneath. So I'm just adding it here onto the white cardstock. I've already cut a piece of the paperback cardstock. This is three inches by four and a quarter inch. And you only want to adhere this to the section that comes in contact with the uh, front flap. So I've added some double sided tape here onto the back. And we're just adding it where it comes in contact with the front flap. And this 
will be tucked in here. So I have cut a piece of the Nori Nice cutting uh, pattern paper to two and three quarters and four inches and I will be just adding it onto here. I'm just adding it onto here. And now I'm just going to tuck it here underneath this corner. And here you have the corner tuck fold card assemble. And I will be adding this cut full and emboss uh, dies that I have foiled and um, die cut and inked and die cut here onto the front of the card. Well I hope you enjoyed my video on how I used the cut full and emboss die and how I assembled the corner tuck fold card. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back soon. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.